What's up guys and gals? So the last couple months I've been mostly fishing locations where I can launch directly from a barrier island since the big fish tend to congregate near the outside in the summer. But last week I noticed that the water felt a lot cooler to the touch, even in the middle of the day. So I decided to do some scouting this week and see if any fish are moving into the back bays and creeks yet. I also wanted to commit a couple hours in the afternoon to using artificial just to see if the fish are willing to hit lures in the middle of the day yet. I much prefer to use artificial lures, so even though it's a little early still to get consistent results anytime other than early in the morning, I really wanted to see if it would work yet. So I launched at Isle of Capri Paddle Park, which is about three miles as the crow flies from the gulf. So it's pretty far back there. When I got there, there was a bunch of mohara right at the launch, so I decided to net a few just to make sure I wouldn't get skunked. So that's what I have rigged up here. Barracuda. What in the world? Barracuda got my hook. Small snook on. Ooh, look at all the fish he's bringing with him. Oh no, that's a branch. Darn it. That's not good. That'll make it really hard to land him. <laughs> he got us in a branch. Can you guys see this mess? We got a little snook and a branch at the same time. Now I'm tip wrapped. Okay, let's see if we can get the leader. Got the fish, got the branch off. Try to get our line off without getting frayed. Okay, I'm just gonna break that piece off. Okay. That branch is gonna come back to haunt me. I got a feeling. A little snooky. Got me all dirty on this branch. Go back to your branch. There he goes. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this branch without falling over. Put it up where it's not gonna get me snagged up again later. Another little snook. Looks like the same size. Don't tell me you're the same dumb little snook. Oh, he came off. See if anybody's at home in here. Huh, wonder where this goes. Ah, fish on. 
All right. Oh, snapper. He might be big enough to come home. Ooh, man, he got me. You little stinker. He said, you're the dummy that stuck your finger in my mouth. Man, he got me good. If you're 10 inches, I will repay the favor by eating you, man. Chill. He's ten and a half. I mean, what are the chances I'm gonna catch enough snapper to make a meal though? We'll let him go. And he got me more than once. He pooped all over me too. Okay guys, we just ran out of bait. And all of a sudden we're seeing these huge blow-ups over here. Big fish. It's either a big snook or some a tarpon or a really big jack. We've been catching small snook around here, so that's what makes me think it's a big snook. But he's just been roaming back and forth on this shoreline. The first time I threw at him, he actually swirled on my lure but he didn't commit. So I absolutely love this style of fishing. I just find it so relaxing to drift down shorelines, pick out my spots, and repeatedly throw lures. You never know when you're gonna get hit, and when you do, it's always very exciting. Now you've heard me say it before, the key to this kind of fishing is getting really tight to the shoreline, really tight to the structure. And if you're not catching a tree every now and then, you're probably not throwing it close enough. That said, one thing that really helps is picking one lure and getting really good at throwing it accurately. My go-to lure is a 5-inch gulp jerk shad or a 5.5-inch DOA jerk shad. They're both weighted pretty similar, and so I'm able to throw them pretty, pretty accurately. Going off over here at 1.30 in the afternoon. So weird. There we go. That's a really nice fish. Ooh, yeah. Recording? Yeah, baby. Let's give him a little drag because I don't think he's done yet. That might be a red the way he's fighting. Nope, it's a big jack. It had to be a jack. Oh man. He's just going right underneath me and staying there. Come on now. Let's end this so I can go catch a snook. <laughs> Come on now. There we go. It's not a bad fish. That's not a bad fish. Let's back up before we crash. 
Man, he hit that the second it touched the water. Okay, we got him out. Not a bad jack. Jacks like that a little push, you know, give them a torpedo and they take off. All right, guys and gals, I am absolutely tired. I did not eat breakfast this morning. It's got to be about three or four in the afternoon now. I haven't looked at my phone in a while, but uh, I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I've been grinding it out today, man. It's been an absolute grind. All I've caught is a couple small snook and a good sized jack. But uh, I was headed back to the launch. This is a little spot that uh, I've caught a really nice redfish here, actually. He's one of the bigger ones I've ever caught, it was right here. And I saw some activity on the water, a bunch of jacks blowing up, so I figured if there's jacks around here, maybe there's a red. I'm gonna give it one last ditch effort. I'll throw out both of these points, and then there's a little cut through the mangroves over there. So redfish and snook too, but particularly redfish, love funnels. By funnel, I mean a little spot like that where water gets squeezed through between two points. Redfish love to sit right there and just eat the stuff that comes funneled to them. Snook will take advantage of that too, but the snook are easier to find on points with current going by them. Redfish, they love these little funnels. It's funny, as good as I've been doing recently, you have one day like this and you start wondering if fish really exist. There we go. Oh. Just a little snook, I think. Yep. Come here, you. I want to make you famous. I think he wanted that. Look at that. I think he wanted that lure. He took it way down there. So he swallowed it all the way down and then it, the hook actually set just behind his gills. So he should be able to pull it out this way and then push it back up. to do this without damaging his gills. There we go. Got it out. No blood. And he's gone. Okay, mission accomplished. I wanted to catch a snook or a redfish on artificial and it was a little guy but we got it done with the DOA jerk shad so it's still a little early in the season to expect to consistently catch good fish on artificial in the middle of the day but we're going to try to get out some early mornings we are transitioning into that time of year now so we're going to try to get out early in the morning throw the top water lure around hopefully get on some nice snook on top water for you and then keep using that jerk shad as the day wears on. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.